Castlereagh Park this evening for this, the Keller County Antrim Shield Final. One of the oldest competitions in sport here, that's what it's all about tonight. Glentor on the Premiership side of the Cup Specialists, they won the three last season, including this trophy. And Roy Coyle's team, they won the Gold Cup in November. Up against the side tonight who like to leave it late. Bangor under Alan Fraser have already beaten Premiership sides to get here, but they do like to leave it to the final two minutes for their winning goals. So could it be another late, late show tonight? The Glentorn have named a strong side for tonight's final. The Glens now in second spot in the Premiership. It's the same team who beat Korean 2 0 on Saturday. Midfield, a crucial sector tonight, and Bangor will do well to quell the talents of Scott Young, Rory Hamill, and the pace of Stuart Elliott, to name but a few. And what a turnaround in the past few months for Bangor, unbeaten in 11 games. They beat Balamina Crusaders and Lorne, all the winning goals coming in the final few minutes to get here tonight. The race in the pack, it could be Paul Miller, an Irish Cup winner with Glen Torn. Back in 1986, he's hit 14 goals this season. And pressure too for keeper Andrew Fox, drafted in to replace Niall Curry, who broke his ankle on Saturday at Armagh. And already here, a fantastic atmosphere at Castle Ray Park, the small compact round here. Very well packed tonight for this cup final, certainly adding a great deal of atmosphere and a lot of passion to this final. Glentorn obviously come here as the hot favourites, but Bangor, they say they're determined to give it their very best shot, according to Alan Fraser. And how could you dispute statements like that after a fantastic run? from the Bangor manager, 11 games unbeaten as we said earlier, and here's the opening opportunity, the ball flicked in a real, oh, just a little bit too far for Tim McCann, an opportunity there alongside me too tonight, Brian Hamilton, former non Ireland manager, now director of coaching at Norwich, what about that? Yes, good move, Gerdy early pressure by Glenn Soren. they obviously are very confident, as you say, they're looking to take the game to Bangor, and uh, that was a good ball in by Hamill, and McCann nearly, nearly made it on the far post. So many crucial areas here this evening. The torn aside, it must be said, who had a difficult start to the season, but have produced the goods in recent weeks. And then the second spot in the Premiership. And Roy Coyle says that Linfield are in an almost unassailable position, but knowing him, they will continue Glen Torn to the very end. A real opportunity for glory in the cup competitions. And looking for another opportunity tonight to add to the silverware at the Oval. Kennedy with the throw. And the ball nipped out wide again, a lovely little bit of skill. And Walker did well to block the ball. Good opportunity. Stuart McPherson showed a lovely little touch. So the pressure on the Glens in these opening moments. Long ball into the box, up they go. Walker got the touch. Well, could have been problems there. The ball eventually cleared out wide. And Kevin O'Hagan will watch it all the way over the line and the throw for Bangor. And Brian, to be fair, a good atmosphere here tonight. No, a fantastic atmosphere, obviously a very Michael, tight ground, Michael. and I always used to love to play here at Ards. The pitch always very good, but as you say, a great atmosphere. And to be fair, if people didn't realise just how old this competition is, you actually have a medal from it. Well, I think it's the nicest medal of all. It's a beautiful medal. Here's a little chance now. An opportunity, the ball goes in, yes! Stuart Elliott, the leading scorer, he got the opportunity, looked at the spot and picked it. Yes, it was a fantastic strike, a fantastic cross-field ball. Uh, uh, Elliott's first touch really gave him every chance. He's a sweet left foot. It's a great cross-field pass. It's uh, dissected the whole Bangor defence. Elliott caught out wide and left-hand side. His first touch, magnificent. His second touch, even better, and a sweet strike into the bottom corner of the Bangor net. Lovely touch, good skill. Oh, fantastic touch. I mean, his first touch opened everything up for him and allowed him to have a strike on goals, and he'll be very pleased with that. But a terrific start for Glen Torren. Yes, a terrific start for Glen Torren, the one that Bangor didn't want. They're the ones who wanted the, the bright start in this final. 
but we'll see what battling qualities Alan Fraser's side have. I'm going to turn come again. Elliot with the ball in. The ball could break the shots, the shot. Could have gone anywhere. And Scott Young, the man with the opportunity, a goal against Crusaders last week. Already in double figures this season, he almost added to it, Brian. Yes, a terrific run by Elliot again. He uh, has good pace, uh, he's got guile, and he certainly has good vision. A terrific crossfield ball, just slightly behind Gilzine. And as you say, Young had the best chance and really scuffed it just a little bit. Race for the ball once more. Rory Hamill is in behind the defence. The opportunity up. Oh. Well, he thought about it. Didn't work for him. It often happens as a striker. Sometimes it goes for you. Sometimes not, Brown. Yes, a mistake by Tony Scapatacci. He really should have done better. Uh, it's bounced up on him. Hamill very quick on the head on his favourite left foot, and he'll be disappointed with that finish. Very cool defensive work there by Glenn Torn. Neat football. Banger battling hard. <coughs> and John Kennedy will take the throw. Looks for the option. Puts it down far side. And that will be a corner to Glenn Torn. And yet more pressure for Banger. Scott Young will swing this one in. There's a busy and a packed goal mouth up the goal. Header oh, off the line. Nearly an opportunity for number two. The ball came in, the banger defence was all over the place. Peter Crullers, the man, isn't who got it away. And still the danger, and the ball still there. Banger making very hard work of this. That was better football from them, but it could have been 2 0. And that was a real let off. The pressure still stays. Tim McCann going through. Brought down, no hesitation from the referee. That'll be a free kick. And Brian, whenever we take a look at that corner again, it could have been oh so difficult for Bangor. Yes, the, as you can see, it's a very crowded goal mouth. The young goalkeeper really struggling to see the ball. The ball five or six yards out. I think it was Gilzine's header kicked off the line by the Bangor full back. And as you say, that really should have been number two. There's the free kick. There's the distance. Swings it in a cracker. Oh, the ball could have gone anywhere from that. Cracking effort there. Stuart Elliott, the man who thumped it in. But the ball, luckily for Bangor, came off a Glen Torn player. A great strike in by Stuart Elliott. A very sweet left foot. I think it was McComb who put his head to it. Hold it! First with the kick, but it falls most warmer. Hamill, neat touch for him. Very skillful. But perhaps just sums up Glen Torren tonight. Skillful but hard working. Oh, that was good play. And here come Banger again, Miller. The ball flicks off Walker. There's men free out the left hand side if they can get them. The ball flicked in an opportunity. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was lovely from Paul Cullen. And it was almost a goal. Yes, it was persistent play from Banger. Uh, Paul Miller did very well there. A little bit of a sloppy defending by Glen Torren. They almost got punished. An overlap on that left-hand side and a very delicate little chip by Cullen just over the crossbar. Very good attempt. Yes, yeah, so, so close. The keeper had to be sharp. Yes, he did, but it was good vision by the young player and uh, certainly he took his chance. He could have went for a pace, he could have went for a par. He decided to go for a little bit of skill and it was just a little bit high. The flick on at the back post, Tim McCann just waiting. Scott Young didn't get it. The snapshot again, great save by the keeper. Magnificent effort by Pete Beatty, and the keeper did extremely well. Fox was very alert. Beatty 
Did he really fairly thump that in on Fox? Superb effort. Yes, a fantastic strike from Beatty. He, he came on the head very sweetly. The ball came off the Bangor player, but he put his head down, he struck it through, and the young goalkeeper did fantastically well for with Gilzeel following that ball in. Out wide to McCann. Oh, good clever McCann, lovely flick. Creates a little bit of space, has the half yard for the cross. And this one Glen Torn are at their most dangerous. When the ball's on the park, they've got a few players who can do things with it. Opportunity here for McPherson. He's in the clear. He cut inside him, try for the shot. A real opportunity here for the oh! Well, what an opportunity, what a chance. Fantastic run by McPherson, terrific down the right hand side. Again, it was a cross field ball, very similar to the ball that got Glen Torn their first goal. There's the, the ball across, he took it very, very well. John Kennedy just got his head to it, really slowed the ball down for a McPherson, very single-minded, came inside, he really should have been closed down here, he didn't, or he wasn't, and it needed Alan Goff to make a fantastic save down Loria's right-hand side. And the referee will call them for a welcome cup of tea very shortly. And a well-deserved cup of tea from both sides. It's been a sparkling first half, Glen Torren lead 1-0. Curtis here, that Stuart Elliott goal, it could have been more. Brad, it's been a cracking game. Yes, it's been fantastic. I think Glen Torren have, won, uh, have won, played ever so well. Very fast football, lots of players getting forward. Uh, took a great goal. Bangor, they have been a credit as well. They've defended well and played very well on the break. And certainly in the last five minutes, did very well. That's it at half time, 1-0 to Glen Torren. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes' time. Mark for the second half of this uh, Keller County Antrim Shield final. Frankie Hyde, the referee, has checked with his other officials. And away they go. Glen Torren lead by that single Stuart Elliott goal. But it's been a really cracking game here so far. So many incidents and Bangor. They certainly have shown why they've done so well in recent times. Unbeaten in 11 games, they've worked so hard in the past the last 10 minutes of the, the first half. And Brian Hamilton too, a lot of talk with the new Northern Ireland management coming in about players from the Irish League going to be looked at a lot more closely to see if they've got what it takes. Anybody here impress you? Well, I think it's been a good game and I certainly think that Stuart Elliott on the left-hand side, he's a sweet left foot, he's very quick, he's got pace and in today's modern game you need pace and certainly Rory Hamill, bright alive and uh, he's always threatening to score a goal. And after a difficult start, the uh, men at the back for Bangor have done extremely well tonight. They've worked very hard against a very talented strike force of Glentorn. They'll have to be on their toes again as Glentorn build once more. The ball in. Up the go, the flick. The ball could go anywhere. It comes back at the opportunity, the shot. Well, Stuart Elliott, the man listen, who had the opportunity in the first half with the goal, had the chance again, the ball blocked. The danger still there, the ball not away. And over it goes again, and yet more pressure for Bangor. I think you've got to pay tribute to Bangor's defence. They have been really resolute, they've been put on the caution on many occasions, and they have done ever so well. Here we go again. 15 minutes gone in the second half. Bangor tried to work it out, didn't succeed. Walker again, pumps it out far side. Out towards Elliott, Elliott with pace, Elliott with skill. He gets it back, it could be a real danger, an opportunity here for McCann. Oh, he flashed it at the outside of the boot, went the wrong side and wide. Then torn the holders and in the lead. It's a real feeling here, there's definitely another goal in this game. The way both sides are going to each other. Crowd certainly have played their part, they've been vocal on their support. Kevin O'Hagan, a little bit of pressure, it falls kindly for Noel Dean. Dean puts it inside to McPherson, he's through, but he held back, still McPherson, yes! Oh well, the wee man who was a beaut for Bangor in the first half, he had the opportunity. And he was a real cracker there. Yeah, fantastic finish. May they be well pleased. They did ever so well. Good ball in. And a fantastic take by uh, 
McPherson, his first touch brilliant and his finish was excellent, outside of the boot, very calm, very composed, there's that pace past the central defender, the outside of the foot, he just placed the ball in the bottom right hand corner, terrific finish, but he's been a threat tonight Stuart McPherson, he's done very well and certainly could have had a goal in the first half, but he was very pleased with that equaliser. And it pops it down far side and towards Gilzine again, every ball certainly is difficult to get, every ball you have to fight for out there, Tim McCann, McCann has got support from Lehman, he finds him, he slips it in through to him, Owen Lehman has it again, it comes once more, the shot from Young, oh, <laughs> oh, brilliant defensive work by Paul Emerson, Young with the opportunity, Emerson was there, flicked it beyond, it's good, Brad. Yes, it's a good play, but a great tackle by Lehman, very persistent, straight there, pulled the ball back with another great tackle, fell kindly to Young, I really think he should have struck it first time, he decided to take on his left foot, and it just went over the bar, off with a, with a deflection. So Tim McCann goes off. Brian Russell, number 12, comes in. Russell will add a little bit of height, a little bit of strength in that attack. And the ball flashed in once more. Paul Lehman. It's exciting stuff. About 20 minutes to go, and there's the substitute Russell in the tussle. That was a hard challenge. And Paul Emerson, he's worked the socks off tonight. Yes, yeah, a through ball. The ball was between Russell and Emerson. Both of them very strong, very committed, very brave. Emerson just got there a little bit early, and Russell just caught him with that tackle. Gary Sliney. The captain with the throw. And Douglas trying to put it back in again. The ball flashes in. Was he here? Well, Paul Cullen wasn't too happy with the referee, wasn't too happy with the Gantora defence. It did appear to be a little nudge, but referee says play away. Be interesting to see that one again. Banger, keep it up, Away. Douglas. The challenge once again. Banger, to be fair, are battling for every single ball here tonight. The ball in, it's a high cross in. Plenty of bodies in. A good header out by John Kennedy. It came straight back in again. It might have just come off his arm. I don't think it was any intentional. And yes, was there a tug? Sometimes in there, there's, the players are so tight. I think it was good defend, and I think the referee was right on that occasion. Good finish, cool, calm, collected. It's always nice to score to make it 2 1. Yeah, 15 minutes to go. Is there a way back? Again, this already had so many twists and turns. Well, Brian Hamilton and Bangor have given so much. Is there a way back for them after this? Oh, I think, yeah, I think there's a way back because they've shown great spirit, great character, reflect, and certainly do justice to their manager, manager and, his, and his coaching staff. They've been fantastic. They've worked hard, been so honest. And perhaps this is the chance in towards golf. Well, took no chances there. It was almost a repeat, wasn't it? I mean, we had a fantastic goal by Glenn Turner to start it off. A fantastic equaliser, and there we saw the hanging ball. The keeper had to deal with it. on this occasion, a little bit more experienced golf. He just simply tips the ball over the bar and makes sure 
that there's no problems. Ali, get you the side of him. Here come Bangor again. Hey, Ball flashes in up the goal. Get out. Home the man who got the head of there. But the pressure remains on the Premiership side. It comes back on McPherson again. Oh, this time. This time his shot just flashes the wrong side and wide. It comes off a Glentorn defender. Yet more pressure. We asked him, was there a way back for this Bangor side? Well, certainly they do believe there is. Tenzo. Be aware in there. Once goes in, Goff goes up and comes off the crossbar. <laughs> There's very little in this game, doesn't have Brad. No, it's a fantastic cup tie. Really, really is. Well, it's all hands on deck defensively for Glen Torn. The ball. The Dean. Yes. Referee says no, Dean. Was impeded. This time it could be Sliney quickly. Oh, he hits it. And just goes back on again. Oh, <laughs> how unlucky can you get? He took the kick. The Glentor defence just stood still. Yes, yeah, Sliney there has been involved in almost all the set pieces. Looked up very quickly. Very experienced player. Knocked it against the post. Goalkeeper nowhere. Glentor very fortunate. And when the ball rebounded him, it came to the banger uh, attacker, but he just knocked the ball over the bar. Try and hold it. Trying up some of the time, referee says, play away. Here's Cullen, down to the last 30 seconds, into Douglas. Banger with the last opportunity, perhaps. He's back out to Miller. Dykes is in the middle. He'll want the cross. Douglas is supporting here. Just inside the box, gets it across, up the goal. Just not good enough. But Banger still battling. They certainly are pinning and torn to their colours tonight. Referee has checked with all his officials. He's about to blow, and there it is. Delight for Glen Torn. They have won the cup final by two goals to one. Absolute delight for them. Brian Russell, the man with the winner. Stuart Elliott, the opening goal for them. A magnificent 